Hello, welcome to Flight Test. I'm David, and in this video, we're gonna be showing you how to put landing gear on our B-25. To get started with our landing gear, we have a kit available, and this is everything that comes in it. We have 2.75 inch wheels for the rear, and a two inch for the front. Let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is pop out all of our plywood pieces. Okay, once you have that done, you wanna set your flat piece of wood, just a square block on the table. Set that on top and do the same thing with the other one. But you want these to be opposite of each other. If you look here, see how they're mirrored. We don't want them to be going the same direction. We want them opposite. Once you have them opposite, just set one off to the side. We're gonna take this one and CA it in place. Simply flip it over quite a bit of CA on here. You wanna make sure this is good and strong. Speed the process up a little bit. I'm gonna take some accelerator, put it on the plywood below, and very carefully make sure I set this right down on there nice and straight. That way it has a nice finish, clean edges. Hold that for a second so it can dry. Okay. Once your plywood is dry, we're gonna take one of our larger pieces of uh, landing gear wire, which is three millimeter. We're gonna get our marker here and we're gonna measure this out at one and five eighths. This doesn't have to be perfect as long as you're close. Now that you have that marked, we're gonna take this, we're gonna bend it over. This thick landing gear wire is kind of hard to work with, but it's gonna give you nice strong gear when it's all said and done. That's fit, fits really nice in there. So then I'm just gonna take this little piece of plywood for the front gear, set it underneath of here. Lift this up, we're gonna put a healthy amount of CA right down in this. As I said before, we wanna make sure this is nice and strong so we don't run into any problems with the gear failing later on down the road. And we're just gonna take our accelerator All right, now that that's good and dry, we're gonna bring our airplane up on the table. So that way we can take a look and make sure that we bend this the right way. Now, in doing this, I usually take this off so that way you don't smash it on the table. Gonna flip it over and have the rudders go off the edge of the table just to give us a little bit of room. And if you look on the inside of your nacelles, there's gonna be some marks. Those are where this piece of plywood goes. Now, this one, as you can see, is gonna go on this side. So it's gonna take the wire and sandwich it against the foam board. Now that you have it established what side, what side this goes on, we want our landing gear to actually bend, go over this way towards the nacelle. Um, in the real airplane, the actual landing gear folded down into the nacelle. So we wanna to try to mimic that and have it come over on this side. So I'm gonna take this piece, set it down on the table like so, get my ruler and a marker again. I am going to go four inches from this center of this bend right here. So if I just line up right on the center of this wire, four inches, come down here, put a mark. And then once again, we're gonna make sure we bend it towards the nacelle. I'm gonna try to get this as straight as you possibly can. And if it is twisted a little bit, I got this one a little twisted. You can simply just hold down here on this piece, twist it back as needed to make sure it's nice and straight. So you want it to be nice and parallel with this. So once you get done bending that, you wanna slide your wheel on here. We wanna take our marker, just come out about a quarter of an inch or so. Put a mark on there. Pull your wheel back off and then we need to cut this now we're actually using bolt cutters um, you can use a dremel tool or anything of that nature just to cut through this just always watch your eyes while doing so Oops. And there we go now that we have that cut set these back off to the side we're going to take one of our wheel collets and the wheel slide that on 
we're gonna put our wheel collet on, leave a little bit of gap in between the wheel and the collet, so that way it has room to move back and forth just you know to keep it from binding up. Once you have this done, we're gonna come back over to the plane, just kind of line it up, get some muscle memory going here. We're happy with that fit, so we're gonna just take a lot of hot glue, be very generous with this. We're just gonna set it down on here, line it up with those little niches that are in the side of the nacelle, push it firmly against, let it dry. Once that's dry, I'm gonna come back with the glue gun. I'm gonna just reinforce this with a little extra glue. I just wanna make sure that these things last a real long time and don't fall off. Go along the bottom, along the side there, along this side over here. Okay, now that we got this side done, we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. We're gonna take this one and CA it in place. Simply flip it over. Quite a bit of CA on here. You wanna make sure this is good and strong. And very carefully, make sure I set this right down on there nice and straight. That way it has a nice finish, clean edges. All right, so once again, we're gonna do a and we're gonna measure this out at one and five eighths. Just gonna bend this over 90. Do a test fit, fits really nice in there. So then I'm just gonna take this little piece of plywood for the front gear, set it underneath of here. Lift this up, we're gonna put a healthy amount of CA right down in this. As I said before, we want to make sure this is nice and strong so we don't run into any problems with the gear failing later on down the road. Then we're just going to take our accelerator. Okay, now that that's dry, we're going to take it over and line it up with our plane, make sure it lines up right. And then we're going to want to fold the wire this way, over top of the nacelle. Another good way to tell is just, if you have this sitting flat on the table, you take your four inch measurement, it's gonna bend up off of the table. So you have this laying flat, it's gonna bend up off the table this way. Now, it's pretty critical to make sure you get this measurement and the measurement on that side as close as you can to four, so they, that way they match and the plane's not gonna sit funny when it's sitting on the ground. All right, and now that we have that bend, we're gonna take our tire, slide it back on. Make sure it spins freely. Take a marker, once again, about a quarter of an inch. We wanna put a line. Now that we've got the wheel collet on, put a generous amount of glue on here. Put the plane over here a little bit. Stick it right on there. Make sure you line up your marks. Push it nice and tight up against, kind of wiggle it around, make sure that glue seats it in real good. Once it's dry, come back along here. Put extra reinforcing glue right along these seams. Okay, now we're ready to move on to the front of the gear. We're gonna slide our nose off and set it aside. We're gonna take these two pieces from our kit. We're simply gonna just glue them together like so. Be very generous with the CA on this. Can't stress it enough. Once that's dry, you're gonna take your medium landing gear wire, which is two millimeters, and we are gonna make a bend at three quarters of an inch. If you don't have a ruler, you can actually just line it up in here, take your marker, put a mark right there, 
And we're gonna take this, bend it over 90 degrees. Like so. And then once we have that bent, we're gonna simply just uh, take our marker, put a line right at the end of the plywood here, which should work out to uh, one and three quarters of an inch. Once you have that, you're gonna pull it back out. Grab it with your pliers, bend it 90 degrees upward. We're just gonna do one more test fit, make sure it still fits in our block, right? You wanna kinda eyeball it, make sure everything looks nice and straight. It looks pretty good this time. Okay, so now that we have this bend, we're gonna go one and three quarters of an inch up. Make sure we're right on our marks. One and three quarters. We're gonna put a line there. We're gonna set it back in here just to make sure we go the right direction here. Grab it right at that point that I marked. And we're gonna bend it over 45 degrees like so. And you'll have a piece that looks like that. If I can hold it still. Okay, once you have that one, you're gonna come over a half inch from that mark. Another mark. Grab it with your pliers like so. And then bend that to another 45 degree angle. So we like that. And then we're gonna measure from that line down one inch. Grab it with our pliers like this. Try to get it as straight as you possibly can. You can kind of tweak and bend stuff as you need to. But we're gonna bend this 90 degrees over that way now. So it'll end up looking like that. Now that we have that, we're just gonna simply take our tire, slide it on here. And if everything goes good, you should have a pretty nice gap in between this 45 and the tire, so nothing rubs. We just take our marker again, leave about a quarter of an inch sticking out, put a mark, slide the tire off, and we're gonna cut this off right on our mark. Make sure you hold on to both pieces, that way you don't shoot the piece of metal across the room. All right, now that we have this cut, we're gonna go on ahead and glue it into this plywood form piece and simply just a generous amount of glue down in the slot just like before on the back ones just slide it down in there and stick a little bit more glue over top just to make sure it's all encased in there really strong after that's dry we're going to simply just take our tire slip it on here put our wheel collet on the front Make sure you leave a little bit of gap so there's a little bit of play and the wheel spins freely. I'm just gonna kind of look this over, make sure it all lines up and looks nice and straight. It looks like I've got a little bit of a bow, so I just kind of turned it. All right, now that you have that, we're gonna come over to our fuselage. We're gonna measure this bottom, which is four inches. We're gonna come to the halfway point at two inches. Just put a little slice right back in here. We just want to come back about a half an inch or so. And we're simply going to slide this up and underneath, slide it back in there, make sure it fits good. If it does, once again, a nice healthy bit of glue right on the top of this plate, like so. We want to kind of keep it down towards the bottom on this tray, slide it in, and then lift it up. You 
want to make sure that you look down the fuselage and that everything's nice and straight. It's running from straight in the center all the way to the back of the tail. It looks perfect. We're just going to hold that good until it dries. It's going to take a little while on this one. All right, after that's dry, we can to flip the plane over. And we'll put our nose back on. Now, as you can see, it's gonna wanna tip back. Once you have a battery in the nose, it's not gonna be an issue anymore. Thanks for following along. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time.